stage in the Ram 1500 2022 model down 985. So we got the Dodge shootout here, the diesel versus the gas. Gas looks like he's got him out of the hole, but I don't know on the top end. Amos has been doing this a while. Amos comes out on top with the diesel, getting the legs underneath it. Mikey Amos, 951 on the 940 dial. Page running in 991 on 985 dial. Mikey Amos advancing to the next round. Pulling up to the line now. Tim Merrick out of Dodge Center down 807 in the old Hertz 455. And Mikey Amos out of Chicago City down 940 in the Dodge Ram. Merrick in the old Cutlass. Hertz old. Taking the win, Mikey Amos. As many passes as that young man's taken, Mikey Amos has got that truck figured out a little bit. 943 with a 7 on a 940 dial for Mikey Amos. Tim Merrick, 808 on an 807 dial, but giving up almost 30 thousandths on reaction time to Amos. And the margin of victory was only 2 thousandths. So Mikey Amos coming out on top, all because of reaction time. George Bates. Up next, Mikey Amos out of Chicago City with a bye round. on reaction time to Amos. He had the chance to win that, but Amos only won by 70,000, so there was room there to win. At the line, we got Gabby Poole out of Owatonna on the Ford Lightning, your tower side, and Kevin Peterson out of Nashwalk in the Southern Bell Grand Prix down 904, your pit side. Gabby Poole, 832, your tower side. with a 4 on a 945 dial. Peterson running 914 on a 904 dial, giving up 13,000 on reaction time. Mike Amos advancing, or actually street eliminator. That is your champion. Mike Amos taking the win light, your champion for street eliminator. Up next, 